Hey guys, today we are going to explore why did Alpha Investment, why did he tell you to buy MetaZoo instead of Pokemon or Magic? Now, both Magic and Pokemon are going to the moon. You don't need to take my word for it. You can take Alpha Investment's word. Uh, he will tell you that this is the greatest Pokemon bull market of all time. That is the video title. And now he's showing off God books, right? Our Black Lotuses. And he's bragging about the largest sealed modern magic position in history. And he's even saying the first Violet, Scarlet, and Violet set is going up in price. So he's extremely bullish on Pokemon, extremely bullish on magic. As soon as MetaZoo went to the dumpster, the literal dumpster... Alpha Investment started pumping out videos which were very positive about Magic and Pokemon when previously he was incredibly negative while MetaZoo was still an item. This should be a little shocking, to be honest to you, right? That he could change so fast. His opinion uh, did a 360 in almost no time. He went from loving MetaZoo, saying MetaZoo was the best investment ever, to, and saying Pokemon could never do it, Scarlet and Violet sucks, you know, magic boxes are not going up, to saying the exact reverse as soon as MetaZoo was bankrupt. Now, he's also deleted all his MetaZoo videos that were negative or that were positive, including videos titled like Turn On The Fact Assembly Line, where he essentially sold hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars of various booster boxes like Nightfall and Native. He would constantly talk about MetaZoo going up in price, being a really good investment. Uh, Native, I remember he said Native holds strong at $100 a booster box. And I got comments saying, oh, how dare you make fun of him that it wasn't $100 a booster box. Which it wasn't and never will be and never will be ever ever. I mean, it is um, kind of a me I, I don't know what is happening here, but here's... The irony, the irony behind MetaZoo is most people in MetaZoo bought it because they thought it could go up as an investment. It was a better investment than Pokemon. They thought Pokemon was stale, all the prices are stagnant. You know, I want to get on the ground level, they said. And yet, all they really had to do was buy the Pokemon. You know? <laughs> It all, I mean, all you have to do is buy the S&P 500. You don't have to buy GameStop or a movie company, you know, like it's or these meme stocks that like people tell you. you all you have to do is buy the S&P 500 during pandemic and you would double your money, which is good enough for most people. To go, I mean, it's a hell of a lot better than losing all your money, which a lot of people have done in the game stock. And it is a hell of a lot better than losing all your money on MetaZoo, like if you if these people didn't if MetaZoo never existed, what would these people buy? They would just buy Pokemon. Okay, what Pokemon would they buy? Well, there was a set called Evolving Skies, and it was very popular. I'm sure they would have bought some of that. There was a card called Moonbrion. It's got actual moon in the mother effing name. If you needed something super obvious, right? And yet they didn't. They didn't buy it. They bought MetaZoo. Or even if you want to say, hey, they can buy some magic cards. All right. All right. Anything would have been better than MetaZoo. Like, any card game would have been better than MetaZoo. I truly believe this because in theory, and, and let's let's be honest here, a lot of the people who bought into MetaZoo, they wanted to make money. That was the end goal. They didn't have any other goals in mind. That was what they wanted to achieve. Like, let's be honest here. That's the that was what they wanted. That's why they bought MetaZoo. It wasn't for any other reason, but they wanted to make money. They wanted to make a shit ton of money from MetaZoo. That being said, it didn't work. All they had to do, and this sounds sometimes, you know, it it's very simple. Uh, sometimes it is extremely simple. All you have to do is stay the course. Hey, wait a second. Did someone say, so if you love Pokemon, why the hell are you buying MetaZoo, guys? 
you're buying Meta Zoo not because the artwork is better, not because the IP is better. You're buying because you thought the majority of people bought it because they thought that it could go up in price. And now, how do I know this is true? How can I prove this? The numbers don't lie. Numbers are not your friends. Numbers are not. Um, numbers are not meant to hurt your feelings. They're just numbers. And the biggest reason, the biggest reason that I can point to uh, to show, show you exactly how I know most people in MetaZoo were investors is how fast it collapsed when there was no investment opportunity. As soon as people heard, as soon as people heard that there was no investment opportunity, they left. It was all gone. Nothing was left. And that, in my opinion, is terrible. That is really, really bad. And I think in terms of why that's so bad, because all they had to do was stay their course. That was literally all they had to do. Stay the course. And they would have done fine. They would have some Moonbrions. If they didn't have Moonbrion, they would have required the Evolving Sky is such a popular set that if you were collecting Pokemon, I don't think there's a way that you could collect Pokemon without with avoiding Evolving Skies, right? People, you, you could find it at Walmart packs, bundles, um, a lot of different things. And yet, you know, I mean, you could have fun pulling stuff. I mean, it was just crazy. It's crazy, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's crazy, in my opinion, just how terrible people did. Uh, and and investment wise, like if you look at the investment in Meadow Zoo, holy shit, man! Everything, literally every other card game, Disney Locana, One Piece. Uh, Magic, Pokemon, I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but I assume they went up in price too. And the, and then, so you got other ones, you got, po you got like dual lands tripling in price. You got Locana doubling. Elsa is a $1,000 plus card right now. You got One Piece just rampaging. Like their numbers are incredible in, in terms of like, if you got in early. The one and only game that was in the big major net, like Target and Walmart that has absolutely flopped is MetaZoo. And all they had to do was stay the course. All they had to do was stay the course. If you like Magic, buy some Magic, you would have done okay. The reserve list was ultra, ultra cheap during when MetaZoo was hot. If you like Pokemon, which a lot of MetaZoo people do, all you had to do was stay the course. That is the most. That is the, the the most funny thing that these people had MetaZoo not existed, they would have Moonbrions right now. They got Mothman. Slight difference in pricing. <laughs>